What's up everyone, Volgris here. Today I'm going to show you how you can do this outlining your gun effect in Adobe After Effects. So we're going to start off in Sony Vegas and uh, right here I have my clip. This is actually part of the trail I made the other day. And I'm just going to clip this right here by hitting the S key on the keyboard. Alright, so now I only have one clip. And uh, just to play it, just to show you, I got no scope and I show the theater mode clip. So right here, after I get the no scope, I'm going to, let's see, wherever I want the outline to start, I'm going to pause the video. So let me just find that. Like, right here should be good. I'm going to make sure I have the clip selected, and I'm going to hit the S key on the keyboard, which is going to split the clip into two. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this says best full, and I'm going to hit this button right here. It's save, save snapshot to file. And um, save it as whatever you want. I'm going to save it as image 27, and you're going to drag this to your timeline. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drag this right next to the clip, and then restart this. And you're going to notice that the video pauses for a few seconds. And let's give it, uh, let's see, one, two, let's give it two seconds like that. So that's, let's give like one and a half, actually. Like, this should be good. So now you have a video clip that looks like this. Alright. So that should be good enough. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... I just want to find where this clip ends make sure... Alright, that's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag right above the timeline, like so, and we're going to hit this button right here, or we're going to go File Render, and make sure we check right here, Render as Region Only. Render it as... Let's see, 19, I'm going to render as 20. Alright, just wait for this to render. I'm going to get something to drink. And uh, while you're rendering this, you should open up Adobe After Effects, which you're going to do in a second. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. So open up Ad Adobe After Effects, and you're going to go to File, Import, File, and then what I say is 20.wmv. Just open it and then drag the clip to your stage and you will now have this clip. Now right here when it pauses what you're going to do is you're going to add an effect. I'll show that in just a moment. What you're first going to do is you're first going to find out where the video pauses. So this is not the best example. This is just something I'm doing you know, really quickly but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit the G key or you're going to want to click this button right up here. It's the pen tool and you're going to make sure you create a mask not a shape. So you want to zoom in. What am I doing? All right, I don't know what's happening. Here we go. You want to basically mask out the gun and whatever you want there to be a line around. So, let's see. I'm probably not going to fast forward through this part, so I'm just going to try to do it quickly. Um, you have to be that precise, but it's the more precise, the better. So, let's see. Mm. All right, so this is going to be pretty bad, but I'm doing this quick. And again, um, I didn't even say this actually yet, so if you want to curve the mask, if you just click down somewhere and you drag it, of course you can curve the mask. Um, watch out for these things right here. These things will determine the direction that the curve will go in, so if it's like over there, then the curve is going to go that way, so just watch out for that too. I'm um, going to do, let's see, this should be good. No, this isn't good. Alright, so... um. <sighs> that happened again. I don't know why this is happening. I'm messing around with my mouse wheel, in case you guys are wondering. Um, what you're going to do now is you're going to make sure that you don't close the mask, which basically basically means... Sorry, I can't even talk right now. Which basically means, like, if you were to close the mask, you would click right here, but that would close it, but you don't want to do that, so I'm just going to keep it open like so. And um, what you're going to do now is you're going to... And I click this button right here, and you're going to go down, you're going to go to masks, and right here, mask 1, that's what we just masked out there. So, you're going to go to effect, and you're going to go to uh, generate, and then stroke, okay? And then now, let's see, brush size, if you notice you make the brush size thicker, it's going to also make the lines on here thicker. So, basically you want to find a pretty decent brush size that you like, so, because my 
you know, my mask isn't really that precise. I'm just going to keep it the way it is, you know, pretty thick. But probably somewhere around the, between 2 and 3 should be good, depending on what you're doing and the resolution of your project. But this should be good for me for now. Also, you can change the color by doing this. I'll make mine be red, I guess. Yeah, whatever. D whatever you want, really. Um, and now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, do the drawing line thing. So by going to Effects, Stroke, and then Start and End, if you notice, uh, disregarding this little you know, line right here, there. disregarding the yellow lines, basically, uh, Start is going to make the start different. As you see right here, it's going to move the lines. And End is going to do the same thing on the other side, So as you see right there. What we're going to do is we're going to put the start all the way down to zero, and we're going to put the end to down to zero as well, and that's going to basically reset it back to nothing. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the part where um, where we stop moving, so that would be right here, I think. Okay. You could use the uh, page up and page down keys to go frame by frame. So right here you stop. What we're going to do is we're going to hit right here on end and start, I'm not really sure which ones I'm going to be keyframing. Actually, we're going to be keyframing both of those, so just make sure you hit this little button right there next to both of them, and we're going to go two frames or so, three frames, whatever. That yeah, should be good. And um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go a few frames, and then we're going to make sure we put the end to 100. So now you're going to notice that when you play it, your gun gets outlined very quickly. So in order to make it go slower, what you're going to want to do is, again, make sure that your selection tool is selected, or you can just hit the V key. And you're going to want to drag this out and find out where the where the video starts back up again. So right, let's see, right here. The video starts back up again right here. So we're going to drag this keyframe all the way over here. And now we play it, we get something that looks like this. And it outlines. And it's rendering, so it's a little bit laggy. Okay, so we finished the first step, and that's getting our mask to draw and all that. But um, we still have a few more problems that we have to fix. But I'll get to those in a minute. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make our mask basically erase itself. We're we want to come back around and yeah, basically erase itself. It's the best way for me to explain it. So we're going to pick a point, let's see, um, right where we had our uh, line stop moving. Uh, we're going to keyframe start at... 100%. No, we're not going to keyframe at 100%. We are going to... We can keyframe it at 100%. I don't want this to get confusing, though. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the middle somewhere, and we're going to drag the keyframe of end all the way to the middle of that, which is going to give us this weird-looking effect, which, you know, it'll look good, but it's not necessarily what I want. So just to show you, if you're interested in doing this effect, uh, some montages will definitely look cool but that's not what I want to do. What you're going to do now is you're going to drag the start keyframe all the way over here, and now it's going to do what we want to do. It's going to draw and it's going to erase. So let me just play that. It's going to shoot, draw, and erase. Okay, so that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If this helped you, I'd appreciate it if you thumb the video up, favorite it, subscribe, if you have any more questions, you can comment in the comments below, PM me, and if you have any requests for future tutorials, you know, you could always comment on those. My name is Valgriz, I want to thank you for watching, and that's pretty much it, I hope this helped.